What is going on, YouTube? Joe here with Culination Media, and welcome back for another episode of Pokemon Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire Battle Spot Live. This is episode number 51, and coming into today, I believe we are sitting at a record of 92 and 21 on the series. At least I'm pretty sure that is it. I didn't actually go back and check like I normally do uh, to see what the record is. But anyway, that is uh, where we are with that, and we are on our second episode with this team. Uh, last time we had some up and down luck, so we're going to see if we can improve on our record today with a couple of victories. Two or three would be great. Um, as for an overview of the team here, we have our Acrobatics Jump Club with Swords Dance and Sleep Powder. We have our Mega Bayonet, uh, pretty standard, kind of sort of offensive, but also carrying the Will-O-Wisp and the Destiny Knot. Not Destiny Knot, Destiny Bond. Oh my gosh, no, it does not have a Destiny Knot. That would be, that would be very, 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 very bad. Uh, then we have Physically Defensive Slowbro with a Rocky Helmet, Choice Scarf, a Star Raptor, Choice Banded Mianchow, and a bulkier Assault Vest variant of Magmortar. So that is what we're going in with today. So let's go ahead and uh, try to find a battle. I do want to give you guys a heads up on something. Um, as of, I guess it was yesterday, I'm trying to get the time frame correct based on what I'm recording uh, relative to when you're actually watching this. But uh, yesterday, we got ourselves to 15k on the channel it's a pretty big milestone i'm very very excited about it uh so thank you to everybody who has uh, shown their support and said all the you know kind words and my twitter was blowing up when uh it did first happen so that was pretty awesome you guys are uh, great i don't you know i don't know i just i say that all the time but it's true um now people were asking me about what we're going to be doing and there is going to be a stream for 15k and it's probably going to be next weekend um, I'm ruling out Friday because that is my birthday, so I'm probably not going to be doing any recording or any work or anything like that. Um, but I'm going to shoot for Saturday, not positive on that. I am most likely going to be um, doing some kind of update video or something, even though I really don't like doing update videos. Uh, I'm probably going to do an update video just um, so that... I can give you all the details as for what the venue is going to be, you know, where it is, whether it's going to be on YouTube or if it's going to be on Twitch. Depends. I still have to uh, look into those things. Um, and then what time it is and what we're going to be doing. Uh, it's not going to be competitive Pokemon. I know that much. Um, I am going to be trying to stream a little bit more regularly, maybe a couple times a month, maybe once a week. I don't know. I'm going to see how much time I have for it. Um, but yeah, competitive Pokemon will be on some of those streams, not all. I want to kind of branch out and do some other, uh, fun, th random things, you know, just, uh, other games and, uh, some Pokemon stuff, some non-Pokemon stuff. So if you're into that, uh, that is what we have coming up. Like I said, I will have uh, all the details in some kind of update video and it'll be all over social media as well. So, uh, there you go. Now, uh, as for the 15k selfie that a lot of you have been asking for as well, that'll be coming up on Instagram uh, sometime soon-ish. Not sure exactly when that's going to be, but uh, you'll know it when you see it, I guess, if you follow me on there. But anyway, we're getting into the battle here, and uh, that's enough talk about random stuff. We have Haxorus up against Bayonet, and this is probably not good for me, because I am not going to have my Prankster activated on the first turn. Uh, I would need to already be Mega Evolved, and I do not have Protect to ensure that. So I'm going to switch into Slowbro. Uh, predicting an outrage, but he actually is going to go for the dual chop, which is perfect because it is going to hit me twice, which means that my Rocky Helmet is going to be activated twice, and that is just absolutely fantastic because I get like a solid, what, 30% chunk on this Haxorus and almost no damage. Uh, I'm going to predict him to want to switch here, so I'm going to go for the T-Wave to try to cripple anything that may want to come in, and he is going to switch into his Volcarona, which normally takes on Slowbro very well because Slowbro does not like taking bug buzzes, even without the boost from a Quiver Dance. But it turns out that this one is not Lumberry like last time, so he's probably, I don't know what he's gonna be. Possibly Life Orb. Uh, he could be Leftovers, if it's a bulkier variant. Uh, what else do they normally carry? I've seen Paso Berry on Volcarona. Not so much on Battle Spot, but I've seen that in OU. Uh, but I'm gonna want to switch here probably because the most I can do to this thing is scald and he's probably gonna try to uh, quiver up here I would guess unless he's just gonna go straight for the bug buzz um, I do not think he's gonna go for a fire type move. I think that is pretty safe So I could go into jump bluff here um, I should be able to take one bug buzz 
Uh, I could go into Bayonet too and get my Mega off, but I don't want to take all kinds of extra damage because I can't Oko this thing and jump off the may be able to depending on the spread of it. Um, so we'll have to see. Uh, he is going to go for the Quiver Dance, which is great because I have a shot to kill this thing right here with an Acrobatics. Now, like I said, I don't know what the spread on this thing is. Most Volcaronas do run some HP just because they're almost all Quiver Dance sets. Um, but we're going to go for the Acrobatics. It's going to be super effective. And it's going to take him all the way down to what almost looks like a Sash, but it's not a Sash. And unfortunately for my opponent, the Volcarona is going to be fully powered. That is super inconvenient. He is going to show off the lefties there. So he is indeed bulkier. I kind of figured that by the fact that he survived the Acrobatics. And we're going to be able to finish it off on the following turn. I should have gone for Seed Bomb there. I completely forgot about Flame Body. How did I forget about that? That really stinks because now Gem Pluff is essentially just Death Fodder. Uh, I might be able to get off a Sleep Powder on something, I guess. But I'm basically just going to let Gem Pluff die. Oh, no. He's just going to uh, DC. Alrighty then. <laughs> so uh, that's going to be that battle. I guess he figured that he was not going to be able to win. I don't know what his other Pokemon was. I did know that he had the Haxorus, but Slowbro was going to be all over that. And it already had uh, a good chunk of its health removed because of the Iraqi helmet that he uh, touched earlier. I was about to say went for but you don't go for a rocky helmet it's not a move we have somebody from the united states here we have rick yo and he has a standard dot jpeg team with an infernape mega kangaskhan garchomp aegislash uh azumarill and the greninja so with these teams i tend to see kangaskhan and the greninja leading off a lot so i'm gonna kind of go out on a limb here and predict the Greninja to be the lead. And so I'm going to lead with Magmortar. Because even though I have to take a lot of damage potentially. Uh, Magmortar can beat Greninja one on one. Uh, as long as it's not carrying a Focus Sash. And I haven't really seen that as of late. Uh, I've been playing a couple games here and there. And uh, even watching some videos. I, I just haven't seen Focus Sash Greninja. They're all Life Orb. So uh, yeah. Magmortar is going to lead off here. Uh, Magmortar should also be able to dish out some damage to some of his other Pokemon too, especially Aegislash, so that'll be fun. I'm going to bring the Slowbro because I have to. If I don't bring Slowbro, Garchomp and Mega Kangaskhan are going to absolutely demolish my team. Actually, Azumarill will too, so ju uh, not Jump Bluff. Uh, Slowbro handles all three of them quite nicely. In fact, it handles Infernape too, so Slowbro is a, is a must-have in this battle. His team gets like hard-walled by it, except for Greninja and Aegislash. But, uh, yeah, Magmortar can handle that. So that is the thought process there. Probably took a little bit too long to choose my moves. Or Pokemon, should I say. I'm not even choosing moves. Does anybody know what I'm talking about? Do I know what I'm talking about? Do I ever know what I'm talking about? The answer to all of those questions is an emphatic no. Magmortar is leading things off here against a Greninja, as predicted. And I'm pretty happy that I got that one right, because Magmortar doesn't uh, match up too, too well against... The rest of his team other than like Aegislash. But uh, I am not going to worry about going for Flame Charge here. I'm just going to... Um, excuse me. I'm just going to Thunderbolt this thing. As he is going to go for the Scald. I've noticed that a lot of them carry Scald too. Uh, not a lot of Hydro Pumps. And he does not show the Life Orb. So I don't know what his item is. But it's not a Focus Sash as he goes down to the Thunderbolt there. We end up scoring a critical hit. But that is completely meaningless because Greninja was not going to be surviving that anyway. And so we have a kill, and Greninja is gone, which is great, because Greninja is just a problem. The entire time that it's alive, it is a problem. Uh, Garchomp, on the other hand, is not too much of a problem if you do have a Slowbro. And because I have Slowbro, I could opt to save my Magmortar here if I wanted to. Um, and what I'm really worried about is if that last Pokemon that he has is Aegislash. Because Slowbro and Staraptor are likely not going to be able to beat it. So Magmortar potentially is very useful. Out of all of my remaining Pokemon, uh, Staraptor is actually looking like the least useful. And if I switch into it here, I could possibly catch him trying to go for Earthquake. He might not want to lock himself into uh, Outrage at this point. In fact, I feel like it's somewhat unlikely that he will go for Outrage. So uh, if, if he does, it's really not that big of a deal. I do not need Staraptor. 
Um, I don't think. I guess it really depends on what his last Pokemon is. He is going to go for the Outrage there, so Star Raptor is gone. And so it's a bit unfortunate sacrificing a Pokemon like that. Uh, it's a 3v3 battle, and you're sacrificing it from full health. That's kind of crazy, but um, I'm really worried about that last Pokemon being Aegislash. So I'm taking that precaution there. Hopefully it pays off. We're going to see here. Um, I'm going to go straight for the Ice Beam as he decides to go for the Outrage. Uh, well, he doesn't decide. He is locked into Outrage. Uh, I thought about going for Slack Off there just to see how much damage that was going to do. But what I did not want to happen was for him to get the two-turn Outrage, which he did. And uh, then get confused and be able to switch out and have that last Pokemon be Aegislash. I'd be kind of screwed then. I'd have to sacrifice something else. And at that point, I would pretty much lose. So I had to pretty much just take the damage there. And so Ice Beam gets rid of the Garchomp, and his last Pokemon is Mega Kangaskhan. I was kind of thinking he would choose between Garchomp and Kangaskhan, not bring them both. But that's fine as well, because I should be able to uh, take this on just with Slowbro, uh, as long as I am careful here. Now, he's probably just going to go for Fake Out. Actually, Fake Out plus Double Edge might just kill me. I probably should have switched. Um, hmm. Well, no, I want him to take Rocky Helmet damage. So he actually decides to not Mega Evolve there because he still wanted to go for Fake Out, but he did not want to take the double Rocky Helmet damage, I suppose. That's fine. Uh, I'm going to stay in here, actually. I don't know if he can kill me from there. I do not know. And I really think he's going to go for Sucker Punch more than anything. I don't think he's going to go for Double Edge or Return. And he does, in fact, go for the Sucker Punch. So that is perfect. Um, absolutely perfect. Because I, I felt like he was just going to get a little bit cheeky there. But um, if anything, I I don't know. I probably would have predicted somebody to want to switch out the Slowbro there uh, to get the Regenerator. But now I am faster because this thing is paralyzed. So I can go for the Slack off, get my HP back. And he actually has Dizzy Punch, not Double Edge, and not uh, Return. So it wouldn't have mattered. That was not going to kill me. Um, and now he is going to take... Double Rocky Helmet damage there. That brings him down to just about 50%. And unfortunately, we did get confused on the first one, which really stinks. But we have a turn to play with here. He can't do anything to me, really. Um, the most he can do is Sucker Punch. And I can just click Slack Off and force him to do something that makes contact. Because I have more Slack Offs than he does Sucker Punches. And he already used one of them. So I'm in, I'm in a great position here. I don't think I'm going to lose this. Once I get down to a certain point, if I'm still hitting myself... I will switch out and sacrifice Magmortar since we don't need that anymore. And he's actually just going to forfeit the match right there. So, uh, sorry, Rick. That is going to be a loss for you and a victory for us. That is going to bring our record to 94 and 21 on the series. Unless I was one off at the beginning, I'm kind of feeling like I was. Um, if that's the case, then we're at 93 and 21. But uh, I'll go back and check it to, uh, to make sure for next time. But we have time for one more battle. I know that was two, and it was relatively quick, too, because we are only 13 minutes and a little over 20 seconds into this video, and we have two battles in the bag. But that's what happens. It's like, it's like we're on Showdown or something. We have somebody else from the United States. What is it with all these American players? I don't understand. That's, that, that just never happens. I always get matched up against Japanese players. But I will take it. I will take it because that means likely no swag key or we can at least cross our fingers. Well, we at least know that there's not going to be a swag key in this battle as he has a pretty interesting team, I guess. He's got the Sylveon, uh, Scizor, Blastoise is going to be the Mega, Delphox, which is really cool to see, Superior, which usually does the same thing every time, and Star Raptor is probably going to be Choice, just a matter of figuring out which one it is. Uh, sometimes I run Band, sometimes I run Scarf. You just have to uh, feel it out, I guess. Although, in a 3v3 battle, we may not have the luxury to do that. Uh, I am going to bring Jumpluff, because Jumpluff has a chance to uh, to do some damage, especially if that Star Raptor is not choiced, um, and he doesn't bring Scizor. So I'm going to lead off with the Jumpluff, actually. We're going to bring Magmortar, because Magmortar poops on a lot of his team. Uh, I should be able to take on Delphox relatively easily, unless it has uh, Psy Shock. Should be able to take on the Superior. Should be able to take on the Scizor. Um, and I should be able to take on the Sylveon as well. So Magmortar is going to be very, very useful. And 
Let's decide on a final Pokemon here. I guess I'll go for the Star Raptor just because uh, it is Choice Scarf, and if that Superior gets up too many boosts, I should be able to just come in and finish it off with a Brave Bird and not have it be too much of a problem, or I could always U-turn out if it's at a low enough HP. Uh, so we'll see what happens. He's going to lead off with the Shiny Blastoise. I'm like 99.9999874% positive that this is going to be Mega. And uh, either way, Blastoise is going to be way slower than our pink cotton candy specialist. Does that make any sense? No, it doesn't, but it sounded cool. So I'm just going to go for Sleep Powder here because, yeah, we need to hope that it doesn't miss. Otherwise, we're going to die to an Ice Beam, and that's going to be... It's going to be a very sad end to Jump Bluff, but we do not miss. We connect on the Sleep Powder. Blastoise is uh, taking a snooze here. So we also need to hope that he doesn't wake up uh, on the second turn. Now, I feel like Swords Dance is the obvious play here. I really do. And uh, because of that, I just want to get some damage going. So I'm going to go for the Seed Bomb here. I doubt he's going to want to switch. Uh, oh, he is going to want to switch. Okay, just just disregard everything I'm saying. And he goes into Delphox on top of that. I should have gone for Sleep Powder again and violated Sleep Claws just to be a jerk. Nah, I wouldn't do that. I would not do that. So Seed Bomb does like zero to this Delphox, which is also shiny. Shiny Delphox, by the way, is freaking awesome. I don't know if it compares to shiny Jump Bluff, but uh, it's, it's it's pretty cool shiny, I have to say. Pretty cool. It's like, I don't know, it sells the whole magician look a little bit more with the purple. I think it's the purple that does it. Purple equals magician, right? Is it just me? I don't know. I'm going to switch into Magmortar here because unless this thing has Psy Shock, which it could, um, it's really not going to be doing that much to me regardless of uh, what it has as far as coverage moves. Unfortunately, it has Mystical Fire. I was really hoping that it wasn't going to have that. I would rather it have just about anything else. Um, I guess except for Psy Shock because that would do a lot. But uh, that does lower our special attack. It really stinks because Magmortar just matches up so well against the rest of my opponent's team. Uh, unfortunately, I think that Blastoise could potentially outspeed us. Um, and I'm going to predict him to switch that in here, so I'm going for Thunderbolt. And he does, in fact, go into the Blastoise. I don't know exactly why. There was no reason for me to go for a Fire-type move. Uh, possibly he was thinking I was going to switch there, but that is not the case. So we do get off the Thunderbolts, and unfortunately, that does not even do half at minus one. Oh, my gosh. I really figured that was going to do at least half. I mean, it's not Stab, though, and Mega Blastoise is fat, even when he's sleeping. <laughs> Not that sleeping has any effect on fatness. You can be fat all the time. Yes, life goals. Um, now, what do I want to do? I don't know exactly. I could just Thunderbolt again. I suppose. I suppose I will do that. If he stays asleep, that would be fantastic. That would be fantastic indeed. Uh, I could go for Flame Charge too, actually. But I'm not going to do that. I'm going to go for the damage. And he is going to get the second turn wake, unfortunately. And get off a Hydro Pump. And that is not going to kill because Magmortar is so chunky with his Assault Vest on. It is ridiculous. Although, I should have gone for Flame Charge there. I really should have. That would have been the better play because he outspeeds me. And now he can just kill me uh, with pretty much any move. I mean, we can revenge it, but keeping Magmortar alive would have been great. Just kidding! He's going to stay alive anyway because he goes for Hydro Pump again and misses. Why did you not go for any other move? Why? What if I decided to switch in Jump Bluff there? Hydro Pump was not going to do that much. Actually, it probably would have done half because of Jump Bluff. But uh, come on. So we get the speed boost. We're still at minus one, but we're going to see yet another DC. So we are like 19 minutes into this video, and we already had three battles today. So I guess it's going to be kind of a shorter episode. Um, but we get the three victories, so we're up to, what is it now, 95 and 21 on the series. Am I just like inflating the wins. I feel like every time I say what the record is, I bumped up the wins like by three every time. <laughs> it feels that way. It feels that way. I really need to go uh, back and double check to make sure I got that right. But uh, yeah, we get the three victories today. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Uh, remember uh, all the details on the upcoming celebratory stream. 
uh, will be coming your way uh, via social media and some type of update video here on the channel. So stay tuned for that. If you have any suggestions or concerns about that, put that down in the comment section below. Uh, if you guys enjoyed the video, as always, you can leave a like or whatever you would like to do. Always appreciated. And uh, with that being said, I will see you all next time. But until then, game on.